Ah, Tuesday, the 1st of February. Or do you say February? What do you say, Sissini? February. Well, that's a hybrid. That was like a kind of a gloss over. Do you say February or February? February. I never say, I never pronounce the R. February. No, I say February. They're, they're, they're both correct. Mm-hmm. But every time I say February, I think, am I saying it wrong by not giving that R some credit? February. February. I don't know. Mm. And then I start thinking about, whoa, the same thing, Tanya, you're thinking about. I love February. I know Although, you do you know do. what? I still am going to stand on my soapbox and say that people that rent apartments should not pay full rent for the month of February because we are not at the same amount of days as the rest of the month. Your soapbox came out so early this morning. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was still in its case. Uh, well, but it's the month be- of love. It's the month of love. And the and first come, of the month. Come February, exactly. Come February 14th, it gets to be very controversial. Like, I will have conversations with friends in my life about being excited to do something creative for Valentine's Day, and they are cynics about Valentine's Day. Like, they get angry about Valentine's Day. Why should we just celebrate love on one day of the month? I'm like, well, wait, well, no one's not celebrating love other days, but, like, this one is kind of a theme to yeah. do it, you know? Throw some glitter on it. You know, people get very testy. It's almost like you got to be careful when you bring up politics, religion, and Valentine's Day. <laughs> right? Well, you know, but it's you, a little bit overshadowed this year because of the Super Bowl, kind of. There's there's a couple things. I'm going to get on my soapbox because there's a couple mm-hmm. things here. One, people should have Mondays off after the Super Bowl. Agree. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. When I say people, I definitely mean DJs. <laughs> Starting with the show today here. Number two, I think Valentine's Day should be a national holiday. It isn't? Be- I not like know. it's like the banks are closed. I think it should like close schools and banks. You know why? There's not enough love in this world. There's more mm. war, fighting, and hatred than ever before. Right, and right. if One we day to wa- focus on love, if you want to change things, you know, or observe the antithesis of hatred and division and fighting and n- not love, then give us a day to just focus on love. Nationwide, mm. worldwide. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It makes sense. Preach. It doesn't, I it agree. doesn't have yeah. to, it, and it doesn't have to be about chocolate hearts, but it should no. be about. We don't have a day where there are religious days, but everybody's different religions. We don't have a day, to my knowledge, unless I'm not thinking through the calendar, where we actually celebrate the good, celebrate the love that comes through human relationship. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. So what do we do? We take us to the the White House? No, to start a petition. Actually, Mark, are you are you available? I'm here. Would you find out? Now, let's not make it cartoony. It's not about, like, Cupid and those hearts. They're the candies that have sayings no, on the converse already bought some of those. Let's make this about, I mean, Thanksgiving is something, but not everybody in the world celebrates Thanksgiving. I think we need to take, if you look at the global conflict, I mean, look at Ukraine and Russia, for example. We got global mm-hmm. conflict, right? We need a day that celebrates the good. Maybe there is one, but that's a universal celebration of what we're all on this planet for. Love. I love You that. just want to be loved. You want to yes. be loved. Like, why do we do this? Because we need a job so that we can afford love, right? That's why we do this. I was going to say because <laughs> we love it, but yeah. No, 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 yeah. we love it. Yes, but I'm like- saying... Every human being has one common thing. They want to feel loved. We need a day that's global that yes. does that. Is there a day that I'm not thinking of? Does it exist? I can't think of it Universally? Day. I don't right. think well, so. Mark, no. figure out the process. Let's not overshadow this day because it is Harry Styles' birthday. Okay, but that's not important to me. What's important oh. to me is <laughs> global, universal celebration of what we all want. Mm-hmm. To be loved. I agree with you. I love that. By Harry glo- Styles. Global Love Days May 1st, but that gets no publicity. <laughs> Definitely no. not. All right. And I'll take this wherever you... I'll take it to any hill. I'll take it to any Let's monument. Go. I'll take it to any building. I'll take it... Let's go. Or I'll just send this tape. You know, I don't even have to go. <laughs> well, you yes, have the influence, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, I, Ryan, we're gonna post it's this. It's all on you, Ryan. You we're have the post influence. This. You have the platform. We're gonna post this video and ask people to share it. 
And it doesn't yeah. have to be about the cartoon nature of Valentine's Day, right? No. We need less conflict. We need a day to reflect on no conflict. You know what we should all do on Valentine's Day this year? We should all just do (laughs) something nice for a stranger. (laughs) That's a lot. We do that all the time. Just buy their coffee or something. If you listen to the show, I pay bills on the tens every day. Okay. Uh Something different outside of work. Okay. We should do that. But I'm serious. We need to formalize this concept. And you know, it's going to be a lot of work to formalize it. So- Mark, would you do all the hard, heavy lifting, hard work? Yes, and then absolutely. I will, and I'll do the talking. Great. And David, would you send it out global? 